is really important to know all perspectives of whatever it is you're studying. Because when you don't know what each different group was thinking, there's a lot of holes and it kind of helps you understand the topic more. It helps people feel more represented when they're looking back and they're able to hear stuff from what would have been their perspective at the time. And it really just helps paint a fuller picture. I feel valued by Miss Webster, my third grade teacher, because she always, she always cared and she was always paying attention to what you had to say. Hello, me escuchó. Y siempre me ayudó en problemas que yo no sabía. I'm a Mexican American student. Um, one thing for me is like when teachers talk about like Latin America and Mexico and through like a one-sided perspective, uh, you know, like a lot of people think that like history happens in the past, right? Um, but the reality is like the people that you're talking about and the history classes are like my ancestors. So it's like if you project a one-sided view of history of my ancestors, it like that still affects like me and how people view me. So it's like, you're talking about my answers, but you're also talking about me, right? Um, and that can make, and that can make it really difficult to feel fully present in a class. If I always feel like I'm either, like I have to break away from a stereotype or I have to live up to something. This was the, this was the first year I came to Rivero and she helped me feel kindness. She's bilingual and she can like help kids who come here and they don't know English. And I am a Korean American high schooler. And when I was growing up, um, it was quite difficult to feel seen as a Asian American kid in a predominantly white community. And in school, we didn't really learn about people who look like me either. And so I didn't truly feel seen until I was in middle school. And that's when I joined AVID, um, a nonprofit organization to uplift Asian voices. And so through AVID, I was able to do my own research. I ran some summer programs. I made um, Instagram posts uh, talking about Asian American heroes and Asian American events. And so really through AVID, I was able to see myself and it inspired me to stop, you know, waiting around to be seen and instead making my voice harder to ignore. Respetado. Siempre he estado ahí, siempre que me siento. I've always had dreams of becoming a cheerleader, but I felt that I looked different from other cheerleaders and I was too old to start. It wasn't until I met my coach and joined my team that I really learned that anything was possible. Had it not been for my amazing coach to push me to stop thinking that I wasn't enough and to start thinking as myself, as a capable and strong person. It's because of her that I was able to build my confidence to perform and show up for my team time and time again. Because of the confidence that she helped me build, I am able to learn what I am capable of now. Now when I enter rooms that I am hesitant to enter, I remind myself that I am capable. I can walk in knowing that what I bring to the table is enough.